When people work together across borders, they can solve major problems. There's a unique global collaboration that has recently eased the energy crisis of one country. I've come to Asia to find out how they did it. And my investigation will take me from one end of the continent to the other. My first stop is in Pakistan. It's early morning here in Lahore. This is the, this is the old city. But what you get a real sense of here is the local businesses and just how they operate. One thing that does stand out, the wires above my head is tapping into the main electricity supply. For several years, Pakistan faced a severe energy shortage. Rapid urban growth strained the national grid, leading to a massive shortfall in electricity. Megacities like Lahore were hit with rolling power outages that lasted for up to 18 hours a day. That meant hospitals had to limit their services, traffic bottlenecked, and manufacturing came to a halt. Simple tasks became a real challenge for homes and businesses alike. Around this corner here, there's a tailor called Khaled who's had a local business for decades. And if anyone knows what it's like to work without electricity, it's this man. So during the energy crisis, you would use a universal power supply, which is effectively this car battery here. Yes, yes. With this, we covered the light for five hours. For five hours, we were going with this. When the charging of the UPS was finished, at that time, it was used in the same time. For the order, we had to complete the order, because the customer didn't think that there was a light or not. They wanted to get the order to get the order. For 24 hours, we were in the shop. When the light was going, हम सभी यहाँ पे दुकान घरवालों को खर्चा दे बेच देते थे हम दुकान पे सो जाते थे। Despite the ingenuity of the Pakistani people, a large-scale solution was needed to plug this power gap and fast. The Forbidden City is this architectural marvel that represents order, symmetry, and centralized power. And along with the Great Wall of China, which is about two hours in that direction, both the city and the wall are evidence of China's massive historical capacity to build at scale. More recently, China has shown its amazing capacity to develop at speed. Whole cities seem to rise overnight. Countries and businesses who seek to mirror that rapid development are now turning to Chinese EPCs, companies specializing in engineering, procurement, and construction. I know an expert in Beijing who has worked in the EPC sector for a really long time. In China, we have uh, seeing goals this way. If you want to get rich, first build a road. So the road here is just referred to infrastructure. Infrastructure is a way to unleash enormous potential in developing countries. Why do you think emerging markets are choosing to partner with China? So we have a track record of excellence. We always deliver on schedule and never compromise on quality. It was exactly this speed and quality of construction that Pakistan needed to help plug the power gap. But they also needed one last piece of the puzzle the most cutting-edge power generation technology available. This led me back to Pakistan, but this time into the rural heartland. We were around in Pakistan during the energy crisis. Yeah, I would say I've lived through the thick of the energy crisis. My guide is GE Power Project Manager Nadir Hussain. We're traveling to Kasur, far out in the countryside, where one of three massive combined cycle power plants were built at an unprecedented pace. That's the plant. That's the plant. Look at that. A feat of engineering, the plant is a result of the collective expertise of GE engineers, Chinese EPC, Harbin Electric, and Pakistani operators. It's equipped with the world's most powerful HA gas turbines, 
and is the size of 68 soccer fields. What am I looking at over there? So what you're looking at are gas turbines which produce the most power for the least amount of fuel. What else is unique about them? They can be operated on multiple fuels. They've got a very fast startup rate. So saving money, reduce the emissions. Absolutely. Just so impressive. So if I'd have been walking on this very ground two years ago, I'd have had goats and sheep chomping at my ankles. Not even that. There's nothing over here. <laughs> no goats, no yeah, sheep. It's just barren land over here. Definitely not yeah. turbines. Yeah. The speed of construction was made possible by unique modular technology. Engineers from 35 different countries worked together to build this plant, and two others like it. The plants are a model of global collaboration. Together, they deliver 3.6 gigawatts of power, enough electricity to light up over 7 million Pakistani homes and businesses, including Khalid's tailor shop in Lahore. Now you've got consistent electricity. What do you focus on? What are your dreams? Pehli khwahish maine aapko batayi hai ki mere bachcho mere zindagi mein khush haal apni zindagi guzar sake. Aur yahi hai ki baaki jo mere dukaan ke ladke hain inke bachche taleem tarbiyat hasil kar sake. Zyada badi khwahish nahi hai ki mere paas gaadi ho, bangla ho. Khud apna kaam karne mein zyada khush hu. It's pretty apparent that stable electricity is securing a brighter future for Khaled and millions of others like him. So when energy experts from around the world get together with the most advanced technology, the results are large-scale power solutions delivered at speed. And that's happening right here in Pakistan. <laughs>